Welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be talking about something that has been so highly requested since I made my video on it around Christmas time. As of today, I have officially sent in the paperwork for child support. So after this, there's really no going back. I know it was a while ago and that is because the process is pretty long, so I didn't want to talk about this until everything was finalized. But before we jump into the video, I did want to say the air conditioner's on, um, and it's going to stay on. It's pretty hot, so that has to stay on. But today we're going to be talking about my daughter and her paternity test, and also my maternity test um, for the child support process. And I am going to talk about, you know, going to court and stuff like that in another video. Today I just wanted to talk about the results of the paternity test. So um, to kind of backtrack a little bit, I did hear from, I got a phone call after filing for child support um, a little bit after. So I filed in December, got a phone call somewhere in between then, and it was basically talking about how I needed to give them her birth certificate and just some information for them to actually go through with the court date and everything like that. Um, and so her father also got the same paperwork that I did. Um, so after that, I did have a subpoena sent to me. Subpoena, I think that's how you say it. <laughs> Basically, it just says um, I have to sign it and just make sure that I'm aware of everything that's gonna be going on tells me when my court date is and it tells me that I need to be there and it also has information about um, I have everything on my paperwork here so I know that I'm telling you guys correct information but it has everything I need to fill out for court as well it was April 9th of 2019 obviously and that was my first court date so just consider I filed in December at some point that was about four months after I actually got my paper with my court date and um, well it was about three months after I would say and then my court date was for a month after that so I did go to court on April 9th and I was just basically waiting there I did not see her father there um, they called me, I went into the courtroom, was sitting and waiting to basically find out what was going on. They ended up calling me into a room to talk to, um, like, the mediator person. So, if I had my my baby daddy, my baby daddy, if I had my baby daddy there, we would have had to speak to her as well. And she's basically just a mediator and tries to work something out between the both of us. So I did have to speak to her that day, and that is when I had found out that her father did get an attorney, and um, basically his careful. Basically, his attorney was excused from court, so he did not have to go either. Um, don't know the details on that. Don't know if that was true or not. But I went to court for nothing. The court, um, the office, whatever whatever you call it, the courts were in a, a, a city, so it was busy, there's a lot of traffic, everything like that, so kind of sucked that I did have to go there for nothing, I requested a day out of work, basically wasted my time, because I sat there for a while, I literally was lost, could not figure out where I was going, and then after that, I had came back home, and a little bit later, I did get a notice in the mail for her father requesting a paternity test, now, he had never denied paternity to me personally. Um, he, when I was pregnant, he did tell people like it's not mine, blah, blah blah. But he would always tell me that he knew it was his child. And even after having her, and the few times we have spoken, he we have talked about, you know, that situation. And he's never denied. So I was surprised that he did request a paternity test because, um, as some of you might know, if the test comes back positive. Whoever requested that has to pay the state back for the test being completed. And that was, I believe, $200, $200 or something like that. I then got in the mail, basically, it's called a judgment order. 
and this basically states that I was in court April 9th and the plaintiff was present, um, testifies I've never been married, um, no one else claims to be Willow's father. Um, his attorney was excused. Um, basically just tells me basically everything that I already knew from court. It also tells me that this order was sent to my baby daddy and his attorney. So then I got my date for getting the paternity test done. I went on May 15th to get that done with Willow and I had no idea what was really going on with it but on the paper it did tell me that basically I had to bring her with me, I had to bring my identification and they said that I would be given a photo of um, my baby's father to be to identify him. So we went to an office. Not funny. We went to an office, a lab corp office or whatever, and we went inside, sat down, waited to be called, and then we went in and basically they had a sheet with my name and Willow's name. One said mother, one said child, and then one said father. So that was blank, so I had known that um, my baby's father didn't go yet to get his done. After receiving my final information about it, it does say that he did go on the 30th of May, so he did go after Willow and I, even though he was the one that requested to have it done. They basically swabbed me, took a photo of me, and put that into the envelope. Then they swabbed Willow, took a photo of Willow, and put that into the envelope as well. Actually, no, they took a picture of us together. And I'm assuming they did the same for her baby's father as well, so that is how that whole thing went down. June 6th was when they finalized basically the results of it. But basically it says the alleged father, his name, cannot be excluded as the biological father of the child, Willow R. Colombo, since they share genetic markers. Using the above systems, the probability of paternity is 99.99% as compared to untested, unrelated men of Caucasian population. I did go to court, everything is done with, but I will make another video of how court went and everything because there was a lot that happened and I do want to talk to you guys about that in a separate video just because this video will be very, very long. You say bye bye. Say bye. We see you later. Can you say it? With your words? Wanna give a kiss? <laughs> give a kissy. Just kiss. Right here. Oh, nice. Oh, nice and juicy on the screen. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. We'll see you guys in the next one. I don't know if Willow will be in that one because that one will be a bit longer and longer to film for sure because I do want to give you guys some juicy stuff about that whole thing. But yeah, so I hope that you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't, Willow. Bye.